Hello class! Today we're going to take some time to go over our syllabus for physical science. So first off, welcome to physical science. And I just want to take some time to go over your to-do list for today. So step one is to watch this video. Step two, you're going to complete a science survey Google form. Step three, you're going to complete a lab safety contract. Step four, you're going to log in and do a Flipgrid video, and there's directions with that as well as the link to get into Flipgrid. And then there's an optional preview to watch a color changing card video that we'll talk about a little bit tomorrow. Again, it's optional, but if you'd like to take a look at it, just know that it is there for you. So the topics that we are going to be covering in this trimester of physical science, we're gonna go over the nature of science, motion, mass, weight, and gravity, forces, and work power energy. So those will be our five units. Class materials. Having a notebook is great for taking notes as you'll learn tomorrow, and also just having with you for science class something to write with. You should have your Chromebook or laptop that has internet access, headphones that connect to your Chromebook or laptop, if you have any difficulties with the Chromebook or headphones, let me know so I can do my best to help you out with that. And then you also need a scientific calculator. And so they tend to look like this, or maybe you've seen the big graphing calculators, but this is a scientific calculator here. If you do not have one, we do have a link to an online calculator that's in our syllabus that is in Google Classroom for you. So if you click on that link, it'll bring you to an online calculator. And then here's our grading scale, so you can see how every grade is broken down. And now your weights of your grades. So how is your grade calculated? So assessments, which would be things such as project, quizzes, and tests, those are going to be worth 70% of your grade. Daily work is going to be 20% of your grade. So an example of a daily work would be today your flip grade is going to be considered daily work. And so completing that, you'll be getting five points towards that assignment. And then we have the comprehensive district final exam that it's 10 percent. And that comes at the end of the trimester. Completing our assignments. Please submit your work by the designated due date. And that's usually by 1159 p.m. on the date that it was assigned. If you think you have some trouble submitting it on time, reach out to me and let me know. I want to be able to help you be successful. So if something comes up, you're having difficulties, please shoot me an email so that I can best help you. And then class expectations. You are expected to be on time and prepared for the synchronous portion of class. You are also expected to participate in classroom activities and discussions, show respect for yourself, each other in class materials, and keep all of your materials organized. So this document here is laid out by Champlain Park High School and just talking about some of our considerations and guidelines. So for technology, your responsibility is to bring a fully charged electronic device or Chromebook to school on class instruction days. Super important. Also bring headphones. Um, especially if you're going to be watching some sort of video or doing some sort of activity online, it's going to be hard to hear from your computer if others have their volume on as well. So headphones, please have those. You can contact these people here if you're having any technology issues. And this um, document is also linked into our syllabus, so you don't have to write down these numbers or memorize them. They'll be in there for you. You should also appropriately maintain and care for your device. Um, make sure that you observe and practice appropriate technology expectations, which you can find in your student handbook. Log in with only your school username and password. So communication. I will be posting things on Google Classroom, either at the class meeting time or before, and I will be updating your gradebook weekly to show your progress. Your responsibility is to check Google Classroom for your assignments every school day. Make sure you're clicking turn in or mark is done when you've completed assignments and it should be your original work and should not be copied and pasted from the internet or copy and pasted off another student's work. It needs to be your original work. 
you need to check your email daily and respond as needed. When you are emailing, make sure that you are giving a subject line. So if you're, say, you're having trouble with homework, make the subject line homework problems. It also helps for you to put in what hour you have me, and so that will help me best help you to respond quickly. I also want you to observe and practice appropriate classroom behavior towards one another and staff, which is also found in your student handbook, and reach out to me with questions. I am always available during the school day, typically at 710 to 250. If you reach out after these hours, you will likely hear back from me the next day. Be patient. I promise I will get back to you as soon as I can. So with synchronous learning, generally our synchronous learning will have up to 20 minutes on Google Meets. And so that can be providing a lesson, an activity, relationship building. Some days it could be a little more. Some days it could be less. It just depends on our activity or content. I will be on the Google Meet all hour. So that way, if I send you off to go do your work and 10 minutes later you have a question, pop back into the Google Meet and say, hi, Miss Bodie, I have a question, and I'll be there to help you. Your responsibility is to log in at the beginning of each class. That is your attendance. So if you're not in that Google Meet for that synchronous portion, you're going to be marked absent. During that time, we need you to actively participate in the lesson and activities. And please mute yourself when you log into Google Meets. And again, if you're not there, you'll be marked absent. So with using technology in Google Meets, there is some netiquette. So most of your assignments are going to be set up for you to complete individually. There might be some times where we do some online discussions with each other. And it may be visible to everyone enrolled in the classroom. So with that, harassment and or discrimination of any sort will not be tolerated. Treat all post responses and group discussions with the same care, consideration, and respect as would be expected in the traditional classroom setting. Inappropriate language, posts, pictures, and or off tasks, distracting, or spam com comments will be forwarded to administration. There is also a chat bar in Google Meets. Please try to only use the chat bar to ask questions about the class or the material we are covering. Please don't use it to be talking to each other during that time. So again, there's the audio tool. When you come in, make sure that you mute yourself. Otherwise, it's gonna be hard for other students to hear me or each other. There is the camera. And that's it for this document. So I'm gonna come back to our slideshow here. And again, this document that I just went over is in your syllabus. So some of our common practices. All of your assignments, agendas, and daily videos are going to be under the Classwork tab. The Stream tab is that first page it usually brings you to right away. That's only for my introduction video, the syllabus, and any general announcements. None of your daily work will be in the Stream. So in the Classwork tab, everything is organized by date. And so as you saw, Monday was at the very bottom, and every learning activity is posted as a separate assignment. And so you are expected to complete them by the end of the day, so 11.59, and to hit turn in or mark is done when you are done. Your parents and guardians are invited to sign up to receive daily or weekly updates from Google Classroom. Academic honesty. Academic dishonesty is any activity that involves a student attempting to receive a grade by any other means than honest effort. Students are reminded that cheating will not be tolerated. Students involved in academic dishonesty will receive a zero on that particular assignment, lab, quiz, test, and their parents will be notified. So again, that goes back to make sure you're not copying and pasting your work off the internet or from another student's assignment because that will be academic dishonesty. And then at Champlain Park High School, we celebrate our differences and recognize the benefits of a diverse student body. For this reason, we must take a stand against offensive language and hate speech, racially offensive and or homophobic language, as well as any other derogatory slur towards a specific group has no place in our school or this classroom. We will document and report language that is hateful and hurtful and leads to feelings of being ostracized, which is not accepted, from the Champlain Park family. So again, these are some highlights 
from our syllabus. And so make sure you look over the actual syllabus as well and reach out to me if you have any questions. And remember to hit mark as done or turn in whichever one it says when you have finished watching this video.